Well, hello there. Well, today we are going to do a DashAuto.com review of the Blackview DR900S, one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive, cameras on the market. Dash cam, that is. Blackview is one of the first dash cams to bring true 4K to the market. 4K aside, Blackview is also known for their buffered parking mode, great build quality, and cloud and Wi-Fi support. So as you can see, we were very excited to test this guy out. So first, performance. With the addition of H.265 video compression, video sizes stay relatively small with 4K video. You can expect the same file sizes as the DR750S. The camera has a great ultra-wide 162 degree lens to capture more of the road in front of you. The 4K ultra high def 8 megapixel CMOS sensor shoots up to 4K at 30 frames per second with the added option of being able to run 1080p at 60 frames per second. We do recommend using the 4K video though because <laughs> it's 4K. Parking mode is phenomenal. Buffered parking mode is a must. As you can see, the couple seconds before motion or impact is detected, this may come very useful in an insurance claim. Blackview has added the ability to lock in impact recordings. That means if your car is parked and you got hit, well, Blackview is going to record that and remember it. This is a great new feature just for the DR900S, which in my opinion is worth the extra bucks. So we tallied up votes from different members of our team and we're giving it a performance rating of 4.8. Next, we're on to the build quality. The Blackview DR900S is made of solid plastic, no moving parts, swivels around the mount easily, and cables are easily accessible. Not much flex in the unit. So for the build quality, the DR900S with no surprise gets a rating of 5. Now for design. What more can we expect from a Blackview product? This Blackview DR900S is beautifully designed. The front camera comes in a nice cylinder shape, the same shape as the Blackview DR750S, so if you're upgrading, it's nice to see the DR900S actually still fits the old mount and uses the same rear connection cable for an easy unit swap. The only difference is this copper rose colored ring around the front lens. However, one thing that I would hope that Blackview would upgrade in the future is have a better cable than the coaxial cable that connects to the rear camera. Because in my opinion, the coaxial cable is just too fragile for a job like this, especially when it's tugged constantly. Do you see that? One thing that I do find a little bit awkward about the Blackview design is the location of the flap. The flap is designed to hide the memory card slot, but in doing so, you have to pass a power through, which if you want to get the memory card now, you would have to remove the power. This may look easy now, but when it's mounted on your car, it could be a difficult process. Again, this is just a minor inconvenience and could be easily fixed. So on the aspect of design, our team is giving the dash cam a 4.45. Now onto software. Wi-Fi is great to have and is a must to keep your dash cam discreet. Without Wi-Fi built in, you'd need a giant LCD screen to keep on your camera. Well, that's why many of the cheaper dash cams on the market have big LCD screens. Blackview's iOS and Android applications are great and easy to use. The unit does, however, need to restart every time you change a setting. That being said, you only need to do this once and set it and forget it. However, it wouldn't hurt Blackview too much to upgrade the aesthetics of their app for a modern look. And for software, the DR900S gets a 4.75. Moving on to the price point. We would love to be able to compare and contrast the price point of the DR900S to other dash cams of its caliber. However, that's where the problem lies. There are no competition. The DR900S is the only true 4K dash cam on the market right now, so it's unfair and we can't do a fair price comparison. With that being said, the DR900S is one of, if not the most expensive dash cams on the market right now, but you do get what you paid for. So after tallying up the average, the DR900S gets a final rating of 4.8, which is more than enough to get the DashAuto.com stamp of approval. If you want the DR900S at the best available price, please don't forget to check down below for the purchase link. And again, this is Danny from DashAuto.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.